Hello everybody, welcome to linuxl.com. In this video, I am going to show how to set up RAID 1 in Linux. In previous tutorial, I configured RAID 0 and explained about RAID concept and also discussed about RAID levels. In this tutorial, I am going to explain RAID 1 configuration. So RAID 1, this is the simple block diagram of RAID 1. RAID 1 is stand for mirror which means exactly clone the data from one disk to another disk. It is very useful saving data storage by implementing this RAID 1 and produce good performance. Here data read performance is high and data write performance little bit slow compared to uh, RAID 0. One of the important performance in uh, RAID 1 is it is a fault tolerance. No data loss will occur if one disk fails. We can get the data from other disk. So don't worry about data loss in this RAID level. Okay, one of the drawback in this RAID 1 is 50% of space will be lost. Consider this one hard disk is 500 GB and this is another 500 GB totally 1 TB but after the configuration of RAID it will be considered as only 500 GB so the data so you can store the data only between 500 GB in this scenario I am going to implement this RAID 1 with minimum 2 hard disk that go for the installation execute the command list block press enter this is my two hard disk sdb and sdc both 10 gb 10 gb i am going to implementing this concept in my virtual machine so i added additional two hard disk 10 gb 10 gb first you should partition this two hard disk type f disk slash dev enter the hard disk name press n create normal partition here 3 1 give value for uh, last sector value I'm going to give 5 GB you can give depends upon your hard disk size press enter again press T and enter the partition code for RAID FD again press P to verify here you can see your block is created your ID is also generated now quit this page now same step repeat for another partition SDC after configuring partition now next install the RAID management software type m install mdadm fny now package got installed next I am going to check the blocks and also I am going to check these two blocks is already configured the right partitions or not for that you should type mdadm iphone iphone examine type dev sdb iphone c one press enter now no md super blocks is detected which means no right partition is created for this sdb and sdc so this two block is ready to configure now right partition next i am going to create write one device for that you should type md adm iphone iphone create dev and give the write one device name i am going to give md5 you can give any other name depends upon your option and going to give level 
equal to mirror you can give as a numeric term also and write device I am using two device so mention two here if you are using two four device you can mention four dev sd b hyphen c mention the block names now press enter press enter again press y now the write one device is created if you want to verify execute the below command md adm hyphen e dev sd b hyphen c now press enter now you can see two device has been created as raid 1 and also raid device 2 this is details will be shown here if you want to check another way means type cat proc md stat press enter you can see here active raid is level is raid 1 and two devices sdc1 and sdb if you want to check the raid device details means type md adm hyphen hyphen details detail dev md5 press enter you can see the detail of raid device now next step i am going to mount the raid device i am going to create one directory kdir mnt raid1 this is my mount point after creating mount point directory next i am going to create the file system for that right device type mkfs dot ext4 dev md5 press enter here the file system is created for right one device next type blk id dev md5 press enter this is the uid and file system type is ext4 is perfectly created for uh, raid one device i am going to copy this uid to mount in a first tab entry type vim etc a first tab You can mount using UID or the device name directly it depends upon your option enter the mount point MNT write one and enter the file system type ext4 defaults 0 0 now save and quit this configuration file now type mount command press enter so mnt write is created successfully now list df-h to check the partition here you can see dev md5 is mounted successfully and you can see the available size is 5 gb as i told before you, here you can see now 50 percentage of data space will be lost here i give 
5 GB from one disk and another 5 GB from other disk but it totally considered as 5 GB okay now go to that uh, mounted location there's the directory so empty directory now create any files here now I'm going to create one file here type cat or vim file1.txt enter some text here I'm going to type write on level is testing now save the file can I create on directory dir write one so totally one file and one directory is here created here so that's it I am going to test the write one configuration now this is my virtual machine so click settings here you can see two hard disk will be there I am going to remove one hard disk remove click OK and restart your machine it is mandatory minute 6 wait for restart after reboot now list the block here you can see sdb1 still there and also it is maintained by ride1 now type df-h you can see here dev md5 is available go to the directory after reboot now type lsplk see here one block is available one block is i removed now go to that mounted point location cd slash mnt write one now let's the directory here you can see a file and the directory is presented so if one disk fail means the data is recovered from the other disk to open this file type cat file.txt the content also still presenting this is empty directory and I'm going to list that so this is the method to create write one partition in Linux it is one of the preferred write level in a storage environment that's it about configuration of write one